Let's talk about quotas. Quotas are the minimum number of votes needed to pass a motion. We use the letter Q to as a variable for quota. Now, uh, the quota does not have to be a simple majority. It may be two-thirds majority or three-fourths or unanimous. A little fun fact is the, unit, the U.S. Senate needs two-thirds vote to override the president's, president's veto. However, there are some quota limits. Uh, the first is that quotas must be more than half the weight. So that means they have to be over 50%. They cannot be 50%. They have to be over 50%. And then the other thing is, is that the other limit is that quotas must be less than or equal to all the weight. So that means they can be 100%. Uh, they can be either be uh, equal to 100% or less than 100%, all the way to 50%, um, above 50%. So those are the limits on the quota. Let's look at a, a quota value problem, like one of the ones that you'll have to do in your homework. So here we have a weighted, uh, a weighted voting system, but we're trying to figure out what Q is going to be. If you see here, we have player one, player two, player three, player four, player five, and player six. There's six players in this uh, weighted voting system. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to find the smallest value that Q can take, that the quota can be. Now remember, the smallest value that the quota can be is over 50%. So if we want to figure that out, what we're going to do is the total number of votes. Remember the capital letter V equals the total number of votes, and we're going to divide it by 2. Now that's going to tell us exactly what 50% is, and then we're either going to have to add 1 or round up, if it's a decimal, to, uh, so that our quota is over 50%. So first, we're just going to find the total number of votes and then divide it by 2. So we're going to, here's all the total number of votes, all of the players' weight. We just add them all up. So it's going to be 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 and divide that by 2. All of these numbers add up to 20. So it's 20 divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now that is exactly 50%. The quota cannot be 50%, has to be over 50%. So we're going to have to add 1 to this for 11. So the smallest value that the quota can be is 11 for this particular example. Part B says, well, what is the largest value that the quota can be? Well, the largest value is all the total number of votes. So it, it's basically what V is, the total number of votes. So if we add up all of the votes here, 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, all those numbers equal 20. So what that means is the quota, the largest value that the quota can be is 20. This next example asks us, well, what is the value of the quota if at least three-fourths of the votes are required to pass a motion? So three-fourths of the votes are required to pass a motion. So the quota would be, in that example, three-fourths of, in mathematics means times, the total votes would be V. So that would mean that the quota would equal three-fourths. The total number of votes, remember, is 20. And three-fourths of 20 is 15. So the quota would be 15 if at least three-fourths of the votes are required to pass a motion. Lastly, Part D says, well, what is the value of the quota if more than three-fourths of the votes are required to pass? So if we know that three-fourths of the votes are, is, is 15, more than uh, three-fourths would just be adding one to that number. So if we want to figure out what the more than three-fourths, we know that 15 is three-fourths, so more than three-fourths, we'd add one, and so more than three-fourths would be uh, the quota would be set at 16.